Hello, this is Craig Resnick coming to you from the 2020 ARC Orlando Forum. With me today is my special guest, Natalie Mockott, President, Process Automation Business, Schneider Electric. How are you doing today, Natalie? I'm doing great. Thank you, Craig. And first of all, I wanted to congratulate you on the, on the new role and uh, just uh, tell us a little bit about the new role. Thank you. I mean, it's, uh, it's really, I'm really thrilled to take over the uh, process automation business. It's a great business, uh, relying on really great technology, such as the EcoStructure Foxboro DCS system and the EcoStructure Triconic. So a really exciting time right now. You know, what's, what do you see as being top of mind for your customers as you, as you assume this new role? What are, you, what are you hearing from your customers? I mean, a lot of what we're hearing, obviously, is, you know, the economy is changing. It's becoming a lot of, of digital economy. We're seeing a lot of change in the market. Newcomers are, you know, coming into our, our field, uh, IT players, uh, more digitally savvy. And obviously, thanks to a lot of the technology around virtual reality, the cloud, the machine learning, that's coming now into the world of uh, the industrial world. So we have to think new business uh, model. How do we approach our clients? How do we really all of it together? So. What we're seeing as, you know, in terms of Schneider Electric to really for the end, you know, the future, the industry of the future, what they need to do or, you know, our fundamental belief is that really for the industry for all to really uh, mature and pick up is that you know, um, there's going to be a change in the uh, value of automation or how we see automation and we're going to have to start being more open. Uh, on the automation side, but also so the customers and the end user, they can benefit from uh, an ecosystem of tech digital technology. Uh, that's really where the step change is going to happen. So that's really what's coming in, in top of mind. How do we look at business model and, and digital technology? You know, you mentioned you mentioned open, and open is is utopia for most certainly of the the, uh, the manufacturers of this forum. But how does cybersecurity play into open? I mean, it's obviously it's a key element of, of enabling the digitization. I've been involved with cybersecurity for quite a while, and we've seen a, a major shift in, in seeing cybersecurity now, just not a fear of cyber, but more as a tool, as an enablement for the digitization journey. And the same way customers and, and even our ourselves as a suppliers, we realize that we have to collaborate to enable and really uh, enable cybersecurity, but enable the digitization. So we've been working with even some of our uh, competitor in creating the um, ISA uh, consortium, really to share more uh, around cybersecurity, best practices, share information so we can all mature together, which would then enable the industry to achieve their uh, digitization journey. Yeah, I know you've been establishing some partnerships, you know, to really kind of help you with a lot of your open initiatives. Uh, tell me the role in, in industry today of uh, this, of this uh, ecosystem of partners to help you with uh, open standards. I mean, we've been uh, as, as actually uh, being open and, and looking at, uh, at openness. It's, it's been in our DNA. I mean, I, I come from a Foxborough heritage and our first DCS was an open Open architecture was the first open system. Uh, we're a member of the, uh, you know, we're leading in the 61499 standards, which is really decoupling the software and the hardware. And again, it's an open environment for, for better adoptions. We're part of the open group. We're co-chairing the OPATH. Uh, we're part of the um, PCL, as well as the um, OPC Foundation. So we're really active. And more even now, we're looking at business model and how to the openness moving to the uh, eco structure exchange where we allow various partners to exchange. And again, it's, a, it's really in a, in a spirit of enabling the digitization. Um, and in, in the same way, we've created an innovation at the edge uh, organization within Schneider, which really invests in small startups, which also will uh, enable a bigger ecosystem of small companies enable the digitization journey. So we've been working in many fronts from technology side, open on technology, open on business model, and open on, on various investment that we're doing. You know, we've, uh, we're familiar certainly with the Schneider Electric Exchange, but uh, can you elaborate a little bit on the Schneider Electric Exchange? Tell us, tell us a little bit more about it. So this was uh, launched about a year ago, and, and really the idea is that we can collaborate in the OT space and various 
partners and smallers in different parts of the world, if they develop an application which solves a problem to a specific industry in one geographical location, can really share an exchange with you know, small partners in, or bigger partners, in, for that matters, but in separate part of the world. So it's really to create this ecosystem, which again will enable uh, and accelerate uh, the digitization. So we've already seen a good result of, of people sharing it. You know, at the beginning, obviously, people are looking, and but now we're seeing activity where we already have fi- over 50,000 uh, registered people on the, on the exchange now and start really to exchange application and and really, it's an industrial kind of ecosystem, you know, sharing um, platform. You know, one of the things that's been that's been coming up at the forum, and uh, is about the whole issue of the human element and the and 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 their role in the future, especially with the digital transformation process. You know, tell us a little bit about you know for you know how Schneider Electric can reassure a lot of its customers that the role of humans is not all going to be replaced by robots and artificial intelligence. And, uh, you know, what are some of the roles that you see humans playing uh, in industrial automation in the future, especially as they leverage your solutions? That's a, that's a really good question. Um, we started a couple of years back implementing some of the technology we provide to our clients to our own factories. And that was an element, actually, that we wanted also to look at. We've implemented uh, these elements in some existing factory where there's been workers that have been there for quite a while and really starting to adopt new technology and really looking. And, and honestly, we've been pleasantly surprised with the adoption and really the openness of our workers to these new technology, which they realize their work is changing. It's, it's not being eliminated, but it's, they're now more optimizing the process as opposed to just doing manual labor tasks, but, and they get more tools to take better decisions. So, you know, we've been working with the World Economic Forum to you know, actually assess these factories. It's part of a lighthouse program. They've been, you know, the factory of the future. And so we've done implementation in, in multiple factories. And following that, we are actually seeing a better engagement from our employees and a better productivity coming. So really, that, that was part of it, is remove the fear of, of you know, automation. And really, it's becoming more collaboration tools as opposed to a human being replacement. And it's different tasks. You're moving from doing more manual to doing, you know, and, and we see uh, appreciation a lot from our various employees. Yeah, I know. We, we, we even noticed that even in some of your spot factories that we've had the, the chance to visit and, you know, seeing we've seen, you know, a, a culture of safety enhanced. We've seen how hu- the, the human element has really been embraced rather than and where technology has actually helped to accelerate that. So I think uh, smart factories, is your smart factories, at least you, you're in a position now that you are able to practice what you preach based on the products that you manufacture and then the solutions you're selling to your customers. So uh, it was great having you today, Natalie, and uh, thanks so much, and uh, best of luck in the new role. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Natalie. So uh, thanks to Natalie Mockhart, President Process Automation Business of Schneider Electric, and this is Craig Resnick coming to you from the 2020 ARC Advisory Group Orlando Forum. Thanks. Have a great day.